guys and welcome back to another video so as of yesterday we are four weeks out of uh from our second national show junior nationals i am very excited but basically we're going to go through a little bit of a what i eat in the day just because i haven't done one in a while and a lot of people have been asking so we're going to do a straight up what i eat in a day um in a minute i'm about to go get some coffee from starbucks so i can show you my go-to starbucks order as well as like i'm on meal plan so kind of all of my meal plan um, that I do on training days because I am training today as well though I did have graduation yesterday and had a meal off and was able to be a little bit more free this weekend um, so this will kind of show you how I get back on track after being a little bit like having a little bit more of a free weekend just because a lot of stuff was going on um, they were planned off meals but still I don't feel in my leanest and tightest so uh yeah i'm gonna show you kind of how i get back on track as well as what i eat a day on a training day let's go as well as here is a little fit check just because i feel like a little mom today um we have buff bunny leggings which they sent to me but honestly the best leggings i've ever put on in my entire life and i've been wearing them every day so i have buff bunny leggings on i have a buff bunny sports bra on and it's got like a little cross on the back um, because I'm probably doing a push day or like back day today. I haven't decided yet, but I wanted a sports bra on. Um, and then I have this jacket on from Flag Nor Fail. Uh, I just have been loving the little zip ups, even though it's literally 90 degrees outside. I don't know. I don't know. And then I have some sandals on and then I got my little Target purse. Let's go get some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just got back from doing fasted cardio. It's like 11, 11.30, something like that. Uh, I'm dying, I'm sweating so much. Uh, <laughs> just because it's just hot outside as well. So I did 45 minutes on the elliptical fasted. Now I'm about to make meal one, which I'll show you in a second. And then I'll probably have meal one and then my pre-workout meal before I hit the gym. So that's the plan for this morning. I do have a lot of packing and stuff because at the moment I am moving out of my apartment. Um, so I'll just be packing and stuff this morning if you want so not much fun things going on. So this will probably be a pretty straight to the point video of what I'm eating. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're making meal one. I. I'm out of like spinach and everything like that. There's a couple groceries I need to get. So I am at a grocery shop today. So maybe I'll do a little haul mid video. Um, so I normally have spinach in my eggs, as you all know, but not today. Um, we're doing uh, 180 grams of egg whites and then I have a bunch of seasonings in there. We have some greens powder because obviously I'm not having any spinach this morning and I just mix it in some water. We're still just doing a gallon of water. Um, and then with our meal one, of course, we are doing our two Dannon yogurts. Uh, if I was doing like a tub, it's a hundred, it's 300 grams of Greek yogurt. Um, but I like these ones because they're high in protein as well as like 80 calories instead of like, I don't know, it's really low calorie. And then we have one tablespoon of peanut butter. So it's like 15, 16 grams. So this is meal one. We're going to eat this. Um, cause I'm literally absolutely starving. We are, it's about noon. Um, and yeah. That's usually when I start eating just because I feel like I'm not as hungry in the morning as I am at night. So I try to kind of like postpone me eating until around noon. Uh, that way I can eat a little bit later just because I get snacky at night and that's just what works for me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on right now. We're staying here live for all the scenes, but for those of you on NBC, Sci-Fi, CNBC, Okay, meal two is my pre-workout meal. Kind of normal, except I'm out of dark chocolate. Like I was saying, I need to go to the grocery store. So it's 40 grams of cream of rice with a serving of, uh, I'm using the Dimatize protein, which is just my boyfriend's. It's pretty good. And then I put a little bit of stevia, stevia in there as well. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go hit a pool workout. Okay, and here is gonna be the intro workout. Uh, just little mini Rice Krispie treats. We're gonna have two. Okay, so I actually had to go to the store, like I said, and got a bunch of stuff, but I actually recorded another whole YouTube video uh, about meal prepping and a little like calorie deficit grocery haul. But on that, like I showed you, I had a Rice Krispie treat mid-workout. 
Um, and now we're about to have post-workout, which is usually just a protein shake um, that I make in like a smoothie. So I'll show you in a second exactly what I'm doing, but it's usually 100 grams of frozen fruit with some uh, protein powder, and then I also add some ice and water in there, and super simple, and then sometimes I'll like add stevia and things like that. But that's kind of how I do my protein shake. Um, normally on my meal plan, I would put the frozen fruit into my pre-workout cream of rice, but I found that with the smoothie, it's way higher volume, and I'm fuller. So, post-workout protein shake, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so this is our post-workout meal. It is 100 grams of frozen fruit, which I'm doing blueberries with ice. I'm gonna do a serving of protein powder and a little bit of stevia, and I'll blend it up and show you what it looks like. Ooh. <laughs> All right, and that is literally it. And look how much of the butt, it literally is a full, it's literally a full, uh, little blender sometimes if I put it in like a big blender and just add more ice it fluffs up a lot um, and I'll eat this with a spoon or drink it with a straw but super filling it tastes like literally ice cream <laughs> so we do have our next two meals after that protein shake cooking up some lean ground turkey and some chicken I actually also just recorded a grocery haul and a like how I meal prep in a calorie deficit video. So look out for that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, we're doing our next meal after that little protein shake. Uh, it's literally gonna be chicken and vegetables, but, and it's gonna be 10 grams of dark chocolate, which I'll show you in a sec. Okay, here it is. Here's a better view of that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, so this is a maybe a serving of rice cauliflower that I froze, that was frozen, and I um, steamed it in the microwave. Um, a little bit of romaine lettuce, not even that much, or iceberg lettuce, and then it's 90 grams of chicken. I also had, like I was saying, a little square, which is 10 grams of 85% dark chocolate, um, which I'll, yeah, it's the same chocolate as every other day. Um, I just already ate it. <laughs> so we're gonna eat this right now, and then yeah, I have one more meal that I'll show you, and that'll be dinner, which will be pretty similar to this. Okay guys, here is the last meal of the day. It is pretty simple, it's 100 grams of lean ground turkey, and then a little bit of cauliflower rice and some green beans. Um, yeah, that's the last meal of the day. Um, hopefully y'all had an amazing day as well and you like this video and yeah for four weeks out so it's been a good day though I will say I kept myself pretty busy unpacking and stuff like that so I wasn't too hungry um, and I've been having a good amount of vegetables and protein and that's been keeping me pretty full but let me know if you know you want a what I eat in a day next week because there will be a lot of changes and I do think my calories and everything will be dropping just as we're getting closer to, to this national show. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, um, and yeah. Love you.